via the phone lines as we get ready for this weekend's UFC. He's bringing the pain, Max Griffin. Max, how are you? Let's go, man. I'm great. I'm great. How you guys? We, we've been really good. It's been way, way too yeah. long. And there's a lot of things I want to talk to you about. And I was going to wait for this because I have a doozy to let you in on. I don't even think you're aware of this. Well, you ready? It's here, yeah. All right. Who are you fighting on Saturday? Michael Morales. Michael Morales. You are fighting Michael Morales. Have you gone to the Wikipedia page? And we know that a lot of times it's wrong, which makes this even funnier. Uh, have you ever gone to the Wikipedia page for this fight this weekend? Have you looked at it? No. Well, you are fighting Michael Morales. You just told me that, right? Yeah. Let me give you the bio on Michael Morales. He is an American convicted murderer who was scheduled <laughs> to be executed in the state of California on February 2006. I thought That's you were going to say June. Go ahead. I thought I was going to say July 1st. Well, yeah, see, there, there's Max coming back with a great line. But go to the Wikipedia page and click the thing, and that's who it sends you to, to this convicted murderer. That's who you're going to fight. Nice. I, I found it funny. Max yeah. is like, I don't care to fight. I'll fight anybody. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what's been up? What's been going on? I see you always on Instagram, doing all sorts of things, uh, moving and shaking now. So fill us in. Yeah, man. Moving and shaking, um, healed off my hand surgery pretty well. Uh, but just been grinding, man, working on content, I'm pumping out content, MMA content um, for Phil Spawn Breaks. I'm, I'm starting to get in the hobby card industry, the collectibles, um, doing more public speaking kind of stuff, a lot more kid stuff, uh, a lot more brand, uh, brand ads, and just getting, you know, I'm not going to fight forever, but I'm not going to stop anytime soon. You know, I had a kind of epiphany waiting for this next fight. Like, yo, I'm not going to fight for 50 more years, but I'm going to live for 50 more years. What am I going to do? So right. I've been setting myself up now, getting my reps in so I could be on the deck, be in the media, be in the, um, use my voice, man. I got the golden voice. So <laughs> trying to be like you, man. <laughs> Use it. Well, well, the only difference between me and you is I've always been told I have a face for radio. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, talk about the card angle, because I've seen that. You and, and I don't really even understand what some of the stuff is where you do, and, and people pay X amount for certain Yeah, names, no one knows. You don't, yeah. No one knows until you, you, you know, I didn't know two years ago. It was like a reading Chinese or something. But basically, there are UFC cards, just like how there's football cards, basketball cards. Um, but there's UFC cards that are your favorite fighters. There's autographs. There's rare ones, one out of five, one of one. Um, and these boxes, it, it kind of came out during COVID is when this thing really blew up. But you can do it online. So it's a stream. Um, and a box would say 500 bucks. But that could be pricey for just a regular, regular Joe, you know. Um, depends on what they want to spend their money on, but what if you broke it down with like weight class, you know, divide that by eight, you know, then you put 80 bucks and get, get all the welterweights in that box, you open the box, you get all those cards. Or if you want to be a little more specific, say you like GSP or you like, um, Elia Tapuria. So you could buy, buy those spots of those names and then they open the whole case or whole box. And then you get all the Ilya cards. You get all. So it's like a price effective way for fans to, to, to support their fighters, collect them. Um, it's a good community, too. It's a good community. They're real yeah, fans. Uh, it, it's definitely cool. And, and I get it. You know, if, if you're looking, and I'm curious, you know, I don't know how long you've been doing that, but what's the, in your opinion, the coolest card that you've pulled so far that obviously you didn't get to keep that somebody bought in and got it, but what, what was the best card? Man, I know someone asked me that. Uh, uh, I couldn't tell you because I opened so many cards. I know that I opened some nice Hasbulas, believe it or not. That little Hasbula has been hot these last um, few months, but I have like six of my one-on-one. Like, 
I collect my cars heavy. So I have the, the relics. I have, you know, the cards now, they'll have like a club in it or part of a hat with an autograph. Like there are some really, really cool cards. Um, you, you said you have how many of your one of ones? Probably six or seven. Six or seven. Just remember November 29th, uh, 2023. That's all. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I got you, man. Uh, so do you have a deal with Panini and, and your partners in this? How, how does that whole thing work? Yeah. Well, I signed a Panini deal just so they could use my licensing and likeness for the cards. And they sent me, they sent me cards to sign. They sent me stickers to sign. But now, I mean, I've been in, I've been in the industry just for, I mean, a couple of years now, but now I linked up with this company, Spills Bomb Breaks, they're out of New York. And it, 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 it's actually the, the day that I said, you know what? I need to do more with my life, like, other than fighting. Like, I do a lot, but do, like, legitimate stuff. And they hit me up the next day. Like, life works in serious ways. They hit me serious uh, the next day to do MMA content monthly for them, weekly. And then, like, how about you break for us? That's like when you go on the stream. There's no one, no other UFC guys that that break the card. So I know these guys. I'm like, oh, this is a friend of mine. This is him. I have insight. So it's not just like a boring old guy opening these cards. Like, um, I have the setup. I got the screen screen. I got the, the mics, the lights. They wanted me to have a studio just like there's in New York. So I, I cleared out one of my rooms at home. I have everything I need. Like a $7,000 setup. The computer, the monitors. Uh, the switchboard, the the the, the speak, the, the the stream box, like, um, it works. It works. Did, did, they send that, me the cards you, I want. I sell them. Like I keep the money. We, you know, it's great. It's freaking. Did, did you catch what, what Max said? Originally, he said he wanted to be like me, and then he called me a boring old guy. Yeah, like uh, in other words, <laughs> I'm a boring old guy opening a bunch of cards online. <laughs> uh, Max, Randy sold that his first tablet was made out of stone. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. All right, so so let me ask you this, Max, and then I, I promise we'll ask at least one question about your fight on Saturday. Because uh, I've always thought this, like a 101 could be cool whether it's a different color uh, of the Sharpie, whether it's red or whatever. Do they tell you that? Can you do that? Or, you know, if they send X to you, can you change the color that you're signing, or is, do they tell you what to do? No, you sign in these blue, they're like these nice blue thin kind of markers. They're just specific. Um, but but it. the card colors are, like, golds are always out of 10. So, like, there's one out of 10 golds. And you find those that are... Um, but the, we do things called on-card autos because they, the first time they sent me 1,750 little stickers I had to sign that they'll just print cards and stick it on. But then right. they send me these cards called Immaculate. They're, like, the most expensive cards. There's, like, six cards for a 1000 bucks. They're, folk, they're, they're they're awesome cards. You, but these, they send them all to me. I have to sign them like perfect and then send them back. Were, were you yeah. a, a card collector before you started doing all this? Well, I did cards when I was young. A kid, you know, I had my baseball, my, 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 sorry, my basketball cards, my Shaq cards, my Kobe cards, my Michael Jordan. But then I didn't even know that there are UFC cards. And then, then, then I'm in them. The hobby, the hobby is good people. Like I said, they're real fans. They really support the fighters. They buy money. You know, they they uh, they buy merch. They support. They do charity stuff. Like they spend money. So uh, they're good people, man. They're good people. It's fun. Um, well, let let me great. know on your next one. You know, and I know that it's on the Instagram, but I sometimes forget to even yeah know how to do that. Just let me know. I, I'd like to sit in and watch the next one. For sure. For sure. Sure. So going back to the whole like start of the, the conversation where you know, I'm old, old. Wikipedia <laughs> oh, okay. Wikipedia has you listed as fighting like a convicted felon. He, here it uh, is. Here's the photo. <laughs> no, I believe you. But like Randy, Randy and I always talk about on on death row. You know, uh, what would be your final meal? You're in you're in final week of a fight camp. <laughs> you know, so if you could pick one meal, now I'll give you a hint. Randy says his final meal would be some rare like ostrich egg that, that, only, that hasn't even been laid yet. Yeah, it only hatches like twice a year. <laughs> and like, you know, it take forever to find this egg and prepare it. Exactly. Like, so, so, but what would be your final meal if you were on death? Yeah. 
It's an awful question. My first choice is inappropriate, but my lady. That's what I'd probably say. <laughs> my wife. <laughs> that's what I'd say. <laughs> yes. And I'll Anna Faye, now, so yeah. now you'll see why. See, Matt asked me. I used to have a van. <laughs> And, and I had images on the van, Chuck and Tito and Randy. And he's like, if you could get a van again, you can only have five images on it. And one side is five fighters that I know. And the other side of five fighters I don't know. And that's why, Matt, that's why Max Griffin is one of my five. Which I said <laughs> before you even came on. <laughs> you were on the van before you even came on. Um, before we run out of time and the UFC gets <laughs> mad at me, um, talk about the fight. Talk about... Uh, the Michael Morales you're fighting, not the mass murderer. <laughs> yeah. Um, he's good. He's raw. But he's real raw, you know? He's young. Hasn't had too much experience, but he has a lot of height. Um, beat two guys that are pretty low, low or decent on the scale of the UFC fighters. Um, I'm a terrorize this guy, though. Like, um, I make a living out of sending these guys back. It's been Zaleem and Medaya, they go eight knockouts in Atlanta, so him back. They sent me Ramiz by five. They know all subs was to come beat me, and I took his ear off at the Apex. So, um, this guy thinks he's going to beat me. He fights cocky. Uh, I don't like him. So, I'm going to brutalize him everywhere. Striking, wrestling, grappling, on the ground, cardio, pace, heart, will, everything. I'm a master class him. And drop the mic after I'm talking on it. So every time Matt asks me a question, whether it's the van or this or something else stupid that he brings up, he always has to, to, to say, well, what's the criteria? You know, what's the criteria of this and that? So my question, what's the criteria of your next tattoo? Like, what do you have to take from the next fighter for that to be a tattoo? I want to gas someone's face. Because, I mean, I hit that with the elbow. If I hit someone in, like, their cheek or their forehead or anywhere, it's going to rip their face off. So, something like that. Um, so Max, like, if, if, <laughs> look, if there's any, if, if, if Michael has to pull out for any reason and you do fight this convicted murderer guy, the mustache the dude has on the Wikipedia picture is epic. <laughs> and you can get that tattooed. <laughs> Like anywhere, and it'll be sick. <laughs> so you got to go check that out on Wikipedia. I'm gonna Wikipedia. have to. I'm gonna have to take it, a call. It's for a, sure. That mustache is legit. Yeah, just just go to to Wikipedia the the fight card, you know, and where they list both sides, and you yeah. click your opponent. Yeah, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. <laughs> well, I love laughing, so thank you for that. It, It'll definitely be cool. Max, as always, thank you for your time. We got your address again. Another care package we're going to send you from Eight Man Strong, as well as uh, some sweet stuff from uh, Bucked Up Energy Drink. Thank you both. And I'm going to go to Florida in a little bit. So we'll have to tap uh, in. Well, let, let me know the day. Make- See, typically guys tell me that, and then they let me know the day after they leave Florida. Right. So <laughs> let me know before <laughs> you get here so we can hang out for sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. All right, Max. All right, have fun this week and have fun on Saturday. Thank you both. Yeah, that's what we do, baby. Take care. Max Griffin uh, on my van. He is uh, one of the five on my van. He has the uh, greatest birthday that I know next to November 23rd, which would be my wife's. And he's a hell of a pizza maker. Uh, I love the dude. All right, let's go hit a break. Uh, Then we're.